Today is the 8th of March, International Women's Day. Now I know that with the mention of International Women's Day, there will be some men who will say, well, when's International Men's Day? Like we need a fucking day. If you're interested, it's the 19th of November. And I only know that because a few years ago, a female friend of mine messaged me saying, happy International Men's Day. And I was like, what, well, that's a thing, is it? Anyway, on International Women's Day, I will say to any women watching, Ladies, please never think you will be equal to men. You would have to drop your standards so fucking far to get down to our level. Because I will say today, on International Women's Day, as a proud man, men are fucking idiots. Many years ago, when I was a much younger man, I went to visit a friend of mine. And the village he lived in had flooded. So what we did was take an inflatable dinghy to which we attached a rope and the other end of the rope we attached to the back of his car. He then dragged me down a flooded street at 45 miles an hour. If anything had gone wrong, I could have easily been killed. But I'm guessing the difference between the male and female members of the audience is women, I'm guessing, will hear that story and think, how fucking stupid do you have to be to do that? Whereas men watching will be thinking, that sounds like a laugh. Anyway, continuing the theme of this week, Today, I want to look at the way that some men who identify as women, and again, I'm talking about a tiny minority within the trans community, but these men who put on a grotesque display, a caricature mocking womanhood, get treated better than actual women. So, of course, I have to mention Dylan Mulvaney, who recently has gone through an entire year of living as a girl not a woman, he identifies, shit, sorry, Dylan identifies. I have to be careful because Dylan has lawyered up. And if I use the wrong pronouns for Dylan, this little channel could be gone. So, a little over a year ago, Dylan was a regular camp gay guy, working as a Broadway actor. An actor, someone who earns a living pretending to be something which they are not. But then the days of girlhood things started and it blew up on TikTok. And Dylan is now reported to be earning six million dollars a year in sponsorship. So let's see Dylan preparing for their first anniversary as a girl. Day 359 of being a girl and I'm here with Christian Siriano. We're talking day 365 gowns. Gown. And while I love this one and I love the red Grammy dress, so what are you thinking for day 365? I just want only everything pink. Pink, Fuchsia, pink, bubblegum, bubblegum pink, Audrey, glamour. Dramatic, let's go look. <laughs> Loving what I'm seeing. Pink? 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 Yeah. I think you might be onto something. Pink. Now, you'll find out on day 365 at the show on Monday. I love ya! I'll come out and say it. I have never seen a woman behave like that. In fact, I'll go as far to say that I believe that some trans women, like Dylan, know less about actual women than the majority of straight men. Women don't behave like that. That's a caricature. It's a fucking insult. But Dylan is earning six million dollars a year in sponsorship. And one of his sponsors is truly shocking. Dylan, a woman, a stunning and brave woman who still has her penis, is endorsed by a company that sells tampons. A biological male, can't see me for that, I'm correct. A biological male advertising tampons. What the fuck is Dylan going to do with those? Six million dollars. That's about four and a half million pounds. So if someone offered me four and a half million to act effeminately and put on a dress, tomorrow this channel would be called Disgruntled Danielle. How many actual women have been paid that much money to advertise the products that Dylan is? Because it's not just tampons, it's also makeup. Things aimed at females. It's fucking disgusting. And I think I get why Dylan is so popular on TikTok, particularly with adolescent girls. Or at least used to be. Because this was a person who wasn't comfortable in their own body, was very open about their emotions and liked to share things. And I guess that feeling of not being comfortable within your own skin. That's what every teenager goes through 
as they go through puberty. But the thing is now, Dylan isn't getting the views because now Dylan is all about product placement or boasting at which hotel Dylan is staying in. Dylan has lost contact with his target audience. Shit, I said his again, with their target audience. So let's leave Dylan LARPing in their days of girlhood and all of the Dylan clones that have sprung up since. I made a point a few days ago saying that a woman in a man's space doesn't represent a physical threat. Whereas a man in a woman's space, whether that man identifies as a woman or not, does. And I know the really toxic woke trans activists will argue that biological men should be able to use women's spaces, arguing they aren't really a threat. They identify as women, so they don't pose a danger. I'm about to show you a clip of a video, which although it's been heavily censored, I warn you, is fucking shocking. That clip is taken from a video which is around three minutes long. And the person in it goes by the name Suki Trans. And what he does is dresses up as a woman and films himself masturbating in women's toilets whilst those toilets are being used by women. For people who say, what's the danger of having a man dressed as a woman in a woman's toilet? Well, there it fucking is. He then takes those videos and sells them online to other perverts. Now, is it just me or does that feel a bit fucking rapey? Even if we take the creepy trans stuff out of it. Filming yourself tossing off in the mirror. I mean, a lot of people throughout my life have called me a wanker. I never thought to turn it into a profession. So on International Women's Day, what we have in this bizarre society we now live in is Dylan Mulvaney and his ilk doing a vile mockery of womanhood and earning a shitload of money at the same time. And a really twisted pervert carrying out lewd predatory sex acts in a woman's bathroom. And the thing is, Suki Trans won't be the only one doing it. And any woman who objects to this is labelled a turf. What a fucking time to be alive. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Hopefully in the near future, I can go back to just ranting about weird shit I've seen in the news. As ever, thanks for watching.